Hey friends, I've missed you guys, but it's okay because we have another really cool looking horror game that was actually made on Unreal Engine 5. New technology is always exciting and this time is no different. This is an indie horror game released on Steam called Silent Nights. And I actually think I downloaded this on the day it came out, but that's obviously not when the video's going live. In fact, right now I guess I'm talking to you guys from the past. But anyways, again, if you're new to the channel, with these types of horror games I usually like to go in completely blind. I think it makes the experience that we share a lot more meaningful, and really, that's what it's all about. As far as my life, I think I'm really focused on trying to get my sleep schedule back on track. I gotta admit to you guys, I've been so focused on creating content that my sleep has really suffered, and it's starting to affect the other aspects of my life like training, working, etc. So if any of you guys have like work-life balance tips or anything like that, I'm all ears. Please let me know in the comments. You know I love hearing from you. So without further ado, here is Silent Night. Okay, so we're gonna start a new game. Here we go. This is a developer right here. Okay. Presents. Got a little scene here. Set in the scene. Also, I got some Pac-Man G Fuel, I guess. Not sponsored, but I don't know. It's kind of good. It's like a cherry flavor. I like it. My grandfather died two years ago. Grandmother had been very sad ever since, so I went to the village to visit her. Okay. Headed to the village. I think this was made- I think this is this indie developer's first video game. Um, and I think they made it by themselves, so I'm always impressed and inspired with that sort of stuff. I'm really interested to see what they have for us with this game. Silent Nights. All right. Pulling up to the house. I like these establishing shots. Oh my God. Implying that there's something much more sin- Oh, great intro. Great, that like sets the scene, gives us the background information we need, and implies that there's something much more sinister um, than we first realize going on here. So, one thing I do like about the start of the game here is, it's in broad daylight. As you guys can see, uh, it's not nighttime. So, very interesting kind of subverting expectations. Grandma's house as a child, I often came here for the weekend. Cool. Camera's very smooth. Um, really pretty game. First of all, guys, this game is really cheap on Steam. It was like less than $4. So, if you guys think this looks cool, you know, it might be one to check out maybe with your friends and family. Okay, front door's locked. Grandparents always had a spare key. It was hidden under a small rock somewhere in the backyard. Alright, well, we can find that. Not sure if that's the best place for a spare key, but we'll see. So the run is only slightly faster than... Oh, this? Nope, not that rock. Okay. The light kind of piano reminds me of something like Edith Finch, right? This is obviously going to be a very different game, but it just reminds me of that. I remember that was a game I really enjoyed. Got a little tool shed back here. Honestly, we should take that knife inside, right? Or that giant buzzsaw. We might need it. Alright, let's see what we can find here. We're looking for a small rock that would contain the key. This is the front yard again, so... Yeah, that's a front yard again. Alright, let's check back here. Just something I missed. It's got to be just one of these random rocks. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Can I pick it up? Can I crouch? Yes, crouch. Okay. What is that? A little guy on a swing, I guess? Okay. So just right mouse click to use it. Cool. It's like a foggy day. But definitely still daytime. 
You hear like a waterfall in the background? It's nice. A lot of work, a lot of love was put into this, I can tell. Okay, in we go. It's pretty simple. A note from Grandma? Uh, okay. Grandpa's lighter could be useful. Here we go. This is Grandpa's lighter. He loved this lighter and always carried it with him. He always said he wanted to give it to you. Okay, that's definitely gonna come up later. Take lighter to hands. Okay, press 4, or we can use the scroll wheel. We can light stuff. Cool, I'm not sure if it has like a meter, a cowboy hat, purse. Interesting. Let's take a look at the house. Probably light as many candles as we can, I imagine. If it's letting us do it, they're probably going to come up later. Take off the backpack. Okay. That is a pretty heavy backpack. He's got a whole, like, you know, apparatus on there. Don't need light during the day. Okay, during the day. So that will probably come up later. Nothing's changed here, and the smell takes me back to my childhood. Yeah, I know that feeling. Smells are a powerful portal um, to a nostalgic moment, especially for me. I think it's actually even more powerful than sight. When you smell something that brings you back, like the smell of Christmas when you were a kid, um, it's like... It just transports you to something. Alright, so we're cleaning up here. Okay, I guess we can, like, pick stuff up here? Huh, interesting. Little chef guy, okay, like a bobblehead or something. Interesting. Alright, so let's m make our way around the house. Oh, I hear pumpkin. She might want to get out. Even the table is in the same place as many years ago. I remember writing school essays on how I spent my summer here. I wrote about fishing and picking mushrooms with Grandpa and helping Grandma in the kitchen. I remember our walks in the great outdoors and spending cozy evenings with my grandparents reading books. They even helped me with this essay. In old aquarium, when I was little, there was a lot of fish in it. They say that watching fish calms you down, and it's true. Absolutely believe that's true. We're gonna keep lighting these candles as we see them. I really like the layout of this house. It really is cozy. I could imagine, like, being cooped up in this place in the middle of a rainstorm. Need to clean up trash in the kitchen. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. I see. Just gotta find out which of this stuff actually needs to be thrown away. Right. That should be it, right? Yes. Grandpa's old books. Oh, let's skip that one. The old fireplace as a child, I used to love sitting here reading books while it was raining outside. Yeah, see, like, that's what I was just talking about. We're gonna keep these lit. Grandpa's TV, he loved watching it. Sometimes he would fall asleep on the couch watching his favorite show. Grandma was always very angry with him, and she would wake him up in the middle of the night and find him snoozing on the couch with the TV still on. It still works. Okay. I guess no need to have that on. Alright, set it to the attic. As a child, I liked hiding there. Oh, talking about hiding in the attic. I wonder what's in these boxes. Probably grandfather's stuff. Grandpa brought them up, or grandma brought them up here herself. God, Lady of Steel. Yeah, seriously. A couple of those look pretty heavy. Grandpa's old tools and other stuff. So he keeps some tools in the attic. But some tools up here. Doesn't seem to be... Soda cans that I left last time I came up here? Wow. 
And I like how it gives you some sound effects like of his past as he's remembering it. That's cool. All right, so I guess that's all we need to do here. Grandma's room. I can't imagine how cold and sad she must feel sleeping here all alone now that Grandpa's gone. Where is Grandma, though? Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to be finding. The guest room, I always slept in this room when I came over. This was the view here. Interesting. I like the paintings too. Gives this uh, house a lot of personality. The house already has a lot of personality. It doesn't seem like just generic house insert for a horror game, you know, it's specifically crafted. I'm a little tired. I need to rest and wait for grandma to return. I think the sofa on the ground floor looks perfect. Okay, here. Sofa on the ground floor. Those look a little small. Oh, okay, it was. And... I woke up. What is that? Alright, we gotta get some lights going. I have no idea. So I guess we woke up from our nap. Hello? What are we woken up by? That's what I'm confused about. Let's see. The more things we get lit, the better. That's locked. I don't think I hear anything out of the ordinary right now. Bathroom. This painting is all over the house. They must really like it. Big storm going on. Look at that. You can't even see two feet in front of you. I've, I've seen rain like that before. It's terrifying when you're driving in that kind of rain, you know? I'm sure you guys have experienced that at some point, whether you were driving or maybe it was someone you knew and you're in the passenger seat. Either way, it's it's scary. You gotta basically crawl to your destination. Oh, it's the TV! Did you guys hear that? Someone just whispered saying, come here. It was really quiet, though. I almost couldn't make it out. Yeah, I'm getting... Oh, God. Pumpkin jumped up. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> it was Pumpkin. <laughs> oh, Pumpkin. It's okay, baby. I'm glad you're here, though. She's sitting on my lap now. <laughs> oh, that's great. Good girl, Pumpkin. She was just trying to come up to protect me. Granny, are you back? Doesn't look like it. There's no one here. But this candle's already lit. Interesting. I cannot sleep without you. When I lie down in bed, I check to see if you're next to me. Maybe you're lying and reading your favorite book. But when I put my hand where you used to sleep, I understand that you are no longer next to me. I start to cry and howl and I can't stop. In such moments, I go out for a walk and look at the moon because it reminds me of you in our evening walks. I miss you so much. My God, Grandma, had I only known you were so sad. Okay, evening walks should be good for you. I agree, but does that mean we're going to have to go outside? It's raining so hard out there. I hope you're on your way home. Wow. All right. Well, let's check the attic real quick. We'll... While I'm waiting, I'll go grab something to eat. Okay, we can go to the kitchen. That's fine. So 
Something from the fridge, something from the microwave. Oh, here we go. Canned peaches and cereal, that's what I need when grandma comes back. I'll ask her to make pancakes for me. So, what do I do here? Get some milk. Just eat it here. What's that? The radio. What's that whispering? We love to dance. God, how much we love to dance. I remember the first time you asked me to dance, our favorite song was playing. The song we later chose to dance to at our wedding. I so badly want to dance with you just one more time. I want to hug you and for you to hug me. I want to lay my head on your chest again. I want to feel your scent and your touch. My love. I have a new theory, guys. Um, I have a theory the grandmother's actually dead and this is her ghost. Hello? What is that noise? Is it the TV again? It's the TV upstairs. But I hear footsteps too. What do you mean come here? Oh! Hello? I miss the way you watch TV at night. I've always been mad at you, but now I'd give anything to hear you watch it again. To hear your footsteps when you go down the kitchen to eat at night, and how you would snore falling asleep. I miss the feeling when you would come to bed in the middle of the night. You'd lie down and hug me so lightly, but you never wanted to wake me up. But I would wake you up anyway and smile. How I cherish those moments. It was always so warm and cozy. It's so quiet here without you. Quiet and cold. As I read these notes, my eyes started to well with tears. I also love my grandpa very much, and my grandma, I love her so much it breaks my heart. I lost my appetite. I'll take a shower and go outside to look for grandma if she's not back by then. Hello? The power went out, probably because of the rain. I'm scared of messing up the electricity, so I won't try fixing it. I'll look for candles. Alright, well luckily we've lit most candles here. Um, I do need to shower though and head... I'm showering before I head out in the rain? That's interesting, but okay, we won't question it. I'd personally wait till after I got back, but hey, that's just me. I'm not also not dealing with potential ghosts, so... Not sure what he's going through quite yet. Here we go. Quick shower. I am fresh, ready to go. Grandma, is that you? Hello? Did she come in? Hello? Um... If she come in, came in, I don't see any... Like, there wasn't any rain on the ground or anything like that. Any water. Maybe she's in bed here? Nope. I don't think she'd be in the attic, but... I haven't been up there since, you know, we woke up from that nap. Grandma! Yeah, I have no clue where she is. Let's check back downstairs. I must have missed, like, something. I have a feeling she's not here, because again, my theory is that she's dead. I don't think Grandma's here at all. Yeah, uh, we've read that one already. I don't think Grandma's here at all. Just a quick theory. I still can't get into the guest room. So let's head back to the ground floor. Can't light the fireplace. I hear! 
Hello? Grandma! I'm really nervous that she's gonna pop up somewhere. Hello? I heard you come in. I don't know where she is. She's not outside. And I heard her footsteps. The fridge is definitely still on. I can hear it. I lost my appetite, so I'm not going to eat anything. What happens if I turn one of the TVs on? And doesn't turn on. Let's go upstairs and turn the TV on. Because she mentioned, like, how she wishes she could hear the TV on again. Oh! She's in the... In the... Is she in her room now? Are you here? Are you okay? Why'd you close the door? Hello? Okay, I'll go make you some tea. Alright. Odd that she wouldn't have spoken back to me, though. But, okay. We can do that. Is grandma crying? Probably? Alright, I'm a bit nervous now. I think... Alright, hurry up with the tea. I'm going to go check on her again. Is everything all right? I don't... I don't know. Okay, maybe the tea's done. She opened the door? What happened there? Sounds, sounds like... Blah, blah, blah. Sounds like something... Fell on the floor? Oh! The door's open! Wait, where is she? I can't live without you. I'm mad at myself, mad at everyone. Sometimes, out of anger, I start to smash everything around me. I destroy everything, just as I destroyed our lives. You died because of me. It's all my fault. Uh, what? What? Why would it be her fault? Grandma blames herself for Grandpa's death, but it's not her fault? I can't imagine what that would be like. Wait, but where did she go? Someone's knocking on the door. This is so confusing. Again, you know, this only further proves my theory. I don't think Grandma is alive. I think Grandma... I need to check if the door is closed. I think Grandma may have... ended things. Because of, I guess, her sadness and her guilt. Alright, both the doors are locked. Ah! Alright. You loved hiding things so much. Oh yeah, no shit. I was very mad at you because of this. You even hid the dishes when the guests came. I couldn't find anything. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I fought with you over such petty things. I wish I could turn back time and laugh about it. When I was little, my grandpa liked to hide my toys under the cupboard, sometimes even under his pillows. I was not expecting a jump scare there. So what is that creature? I don't think it's grandma. It doesn't look like a ghost. Under his pillows? Can 
Can I crouch? I can. It's a very... Let's find Grandma outside. Okay. <gasps> oh! Okay. Okay. Alright, so I need to start getting into the mindset that I can now expect some jump scares. That one looked a little different. That one almost looked like it had long hair, but I'm not sure. Okay. Let's find her outside. Is it this one? Guess not. Maybe it's this one? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Okay, that... Hello? Is she knocking on the other door? It sounds like it's right in front of me. I can't... unlock it. So wait, what is this the key for? I don't know what key this is. Let me check the diary. Need to try to open another door. Another door? I don't know of any other doors in the house besides those two. Is it my guest room door? It is! What is that sound? I don't know. What sound? Ah! Hello? Why would grandma be haunting me though? Or is this not grandma's? This maybe I forgot I need a flashlight. It's too dark and rainy outside the house. Maybe this is like a spirit that was haunting Grandpa, what is this strange sound coming from? Or where? Maybe this was like a creature that was haunting him and, and eventually drove him to his death. Possibly. I'm not sure. There's there's a lot of possible theories this could be. What? It's too dark outside. I need a flashlight. Okay, so... Uh, maybe we can find a flashlight in the attic, possibly? Because there- I remember there were some tools up in the attic. So let's go ahead and check there. And I think I hear something coming from the attic as well. Can I not go- okay, here we go. All right, I have no idea what that was, but it was certainly something. All right, let's find that flashlight. Here we go. Better now I'm gonna take the raincoat. All right, way better than the lighter. Only difference is you just can't light candles. But that's not going to be a problem when we're outside. Okay, get the raincoat, which I don't think was ours when we came in. Okay, we were loading. That's fine. So now we're in a totally different place. Oh, this is going to be creepy as hell. Road closed. I think Grandma went the other way. Wow. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay. <laughs> Things are definitely going to get cranked up a notch here. I can tell you that right now.
There's a light source coming over here. Most likely not a fire. Or maybe it is a fire? I'm not sure how that would work. Oh! Alright, I really hope we're not being, like, pursued by something. It's a lantern. Did she bring multiple lanterns with her? Because I can see one over there. But this one's a bit closer, so let's head down this path. I don't like that we're going in the same direction as whatever we just saw. But let's see. It's like a little hut? These are candles, actually. Oh, God. Hello? Oh, my God. What is that a picture of? Like some disturbing wall art. And we can literally only see what we're pointing. Hello? Oh, God. Did she leave something here, pro possibly, for us? Nothing in the chair? I don't see anything... Oh, we can light the candles. Okay, let's do that then. Was someone sleeping here? Wait a minute, wait. What is this and why was this so close to their house? What was going on here? <gasps> oh, okay. Why is she- Can I crouch here? I actually don't think I can move up. So what was- What was going on here? I don't understand. I'm just gonna light all the candles. I'm not sure if it even does anything, but... You know, who cares? Alright, this might be everything we need to do in the house, but let's just double check before we head out. I just want to make sure we're not missing anything. No, it doesn't look like it. This was kind of supposed to tell us, or give us a hint as to... Maybe what might be going on, but I still don't know. Oh, there's a map! I need to get back on the trail. So, can I access the map? Hmm. It says you. So I need to take a right, I guess? Okay. Alright, so let's head back out here and take a right instead. Got this lantern, I guess. I really hope something isn't going to pop out of the woods. Out of the woods. <laughs> the woods. I'm, I don't know. I'm still kind of nervous, because... Hello? No! I think the game is doing a very good job of... I mean, you can barely see anything through the rain. Um, the way the, the shadows are casting from the flashlight when it's pitch black outside. Like, this scene alone is scary. Regardless of if there's a threat. And I think the developer did a really good job with that. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Construction work. I need to ask the workers if they've seen Grandma. Well, we've we've seen her a few times. Anybody here? Oh! They're cutting trees down? 
Boss, it began to rain heavily and we decided to go to the nearest cafe to eat and waited out. P.S. Just now we saw a lonely grandmother here. She walked through the forest and went towards that strange totem. We asked her if we could take her home, but she did not answer. Okay, so they have seen her. Strange totem, there she is. Okay, what totem are they talking about? I don't understand. And what was she involved in where she's like... Trying to get access to totems. Some sort of a ritual? Alright, let's check. Can we check our map again here? So, we took a right. We ended here. So now we're gonna head that away. Right, is this... The other direction? I think it's this way here. I hear a dog barking, but I'm not sure if that's related. Oh! Cats, too? I think we're headed the right way now. Oh, I keep hearing noises all around me. I have no idea. The ambiance is really good. Hello? Alright, we gotta find Grandma and get the hell out of here. Here's the totem. Couldn't have said it better myself. There's a tent here? Okay. What is this a totem of? The legend of the spirit of the forest. There's an old legend among the locals about the spirit of the forest, which helps people lost in the forest to find their way home. But in order for the spirit of the forest to agree to help, you need to give him something. It's said that the spirit of the forest loves fresh fruit. Okay. And she gave that to the spirit. I think I saw fresh apples somewhere. I don't know where I would have seen them. Did we? Over here? I don't think there are any apple trees here. <gasps> Alright, let's just head this way. I'm not sure if we had to make an offering or something. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. It sounded like we were supposed to, but... I never saw any apples. And it definitely doesn't look like a forest... Where they would have apple trees just kind of like lying around. So where does this drop us? Over here? A fenced, a chain link fence around some sort of facility? Here are the apples. For travelers? Oh. Okay. Well, I can't see that. Let's go ahead and For travelers, if you get lost, you need to get out at all costs. Just take the fruit and bring it to him, the one who lives in the forest dim. The forest and he will show you the way out. They say he loves the apples. Okay. Who's him? We're lost and we need to get out. So, I don't bring him to the totem, do I? Hold on, let me... Ask the spirit of the forest and he'll show you the way home. Alright, well, let's go see what's in here first. Let me... <sighs> I'm so confused. Okay, let me just check the... area first and see. Because I can't see anything when I'm holding one of the apples. Is 
Is that a toy? Oh, I see. Do not enter. Did someone lock the door? Uh, was I supposed to... Shit. Well, now I don't have the apple. Captain, the rain is getting heavier and radius busted. I'm leaving you this note. As I've been informed, they called you in and you should be on your way here. Our squad is moving out. Otherwise, the rain might wipe out the killer's traces. We asked construction workers nearby whether they'd seen anything. No one reported seeing or hearing anything out of the ordinary apart from a crying old lady walking in the direction of that strange totem. You don't think some grandma could have done it, do you? The footprints we found lead directly toward the lake, and judging by the size of them, it ain't no grandma. I'll give you that. Um, okay, so... It looks like toys are here. I'm wondering if they're my toys. Oh, God. It says, meat, bring him, he wants meat. Oh, shit. And there's someone in there casting that creepy shadow. Probably the same figure we've been seeing throughout the game. Oh! Is that the guy from Half-Life? What do you mean he wants meat? So now I can leave? I guess I just... Do I need to bring the apples now? Let's see here. I'm gonna go bring one of the apples. I'm not sure what that's gonna do. I think it might just be kind of like world building there and like not necessarily what you actually need to do with the apples. But whatever, let's try. Oh, I can use my flashlight and hold an apple. All right, let's try it. Because I don't know where we're going to get meat or anything like that. Hello? Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I don't think the apple had any anything to do with that, though. I think I just was supposed to look down that hallway for a bit. Is that a dead body? Um, I would wager a guess. He told me to kill them. I hear his whisper. His whispers. He deli- He's always hungry. Is the grandma possessed by something? Always hungry. So she's going around murdering people? That doesn't make any sense. Why? Wait, was there another note? Okay. Let's try to explore a bit more. Nothing. I'm I'm just wondering what the motivations are at this point. Maybe that's all we could do. Let me just double check. Because if we don't do, like, a specific thing in the room, it might not, like, let us continue. It's always hungry. 
He t oh, okay, yeah, exactly. Keep looking for grandma. I need to find my grandma and get out of the creepy forest. Oh! That was not there before. What does this have to do with... Is it like the spirit of the forest? Hello? No, nothing in there. This is still closed off. Alright, maybe we just need to keep looking for her. Okay, back outside, but I don't... Hmm. Okay, so I'm actually gonna try to bring the totem an apple and see what happens, because... I've basically been just wandering around the forest for... a while now. Okay, so now I'm bringing an apple to the totem. Oh! Okay. That was actually what we had to do. That lamp was in there. Okay! Listen to the note next time, gamer. Come on. That's actually what we had to do. And then it helps you... ...navigate through, like, the actual... ...dense foliage of the forest. Okay, here we go. This is a path. Oh, we're down by the lake here. <gasps> okay. We're searching, we're searching. I found my grandma. She was sitting by the lake, crying and freezing, all alone. I immediately ran up to her, I put my jacket on her shoulders and said, Everything is fine. Everything will be fine, Grandma. Let's go home. Wow, okay, so she was alive. Okay, I have a few theories now, and I want to talk to you guys about this. I have a few theories... Th theories? I have a few theories as to what I think may have actually happened. Maybe the grandma got lost in the forest. Offered something up to the totem, but... In doing so, that put... Grandpa at risk? And maybe she feels a tremendous amount of guilt and sadness because of it. Because remember, she kept saying, It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Um, I wonder if that's what happened. And she returned to the forest because she just didn't feel like living anymore. And because she was so sad and burdened by her guilt. Because I can't think of another reason as to why she would think it was her fault. Or maybe she thought that, like, you know, some of the... Where she would, like, have these little fights with him throughout the house. Maybe that's what caused it. I just don't know what the relation to... That evil spirit or, or the killer or what was... Going on in, in the forest itself. The game didn't really explain that. Like, it's leaving a lot up to interpretation, which is fine. But I'm not sure if I understand the connection between the malevolent spirit and... The family, like the grandmother and the grandfather. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe she is that, and it's something where she's like either possessed or popping in and out of like what her true form is or something like that. There's a ton of theories I think we could go with. I would love to hear what you guys think is actually going on here. Uh, but once again, 
thank you so much for checking out this game with me, Silent Nights on Steam. Uh, love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I will see you in the next video.